welcome back. Uh, first day, how does it feel to be back in the swing of things and getting organised to be back on track already? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, obviously another year and um, I've had a year in the system now, so um, to come back, we're pretty early, um, back for most of the older boys, so um, yeah, pretty keen to get back into it and start running and get fit again. Brilliant first year for you, I guess, what are your goals going into year two? I guess just to keep building on um, how I finished off last year. Um, personally, um, it was um, a pretty successful first year, obviously playing all the games and um, yeah, that'll be my goal again is um, first establish myself in the team again and hopefully um, as the year progresses I can push on into the midfield a little bit more and um, get a little bit more time in there, it'll be good. Is, is this creep up on, like it creeps up on us? Pre-season? Yeah, it always creeps up, I think. Um, we have a fair break off, but it always goes a lot quicker than you think. And, yeah, we're back into it already, which is, yeah, it's good. What did you do running-wise in the off-season? How did you find having to go and do all of that by yourself? Yeah, I've done it a few times before. Um, obviously, playing with North Adelaide and we have a few pre-seasons there. So um, I'm pretty used to it now, um, having to train with myself. And um, we usually get a few mates together. Um, and come down to the club and do running together, which makes things a little bit easier when um, everyone's not together. So, um, yeah, there's a fair bit of running to do by ourselves, but um, we, all got, we all got through it, I think. Physically, is there anything specifically you're hoping to improve on this off-season or pre-season? Yeah, endurance um, is probably the main one, um, especially if I'm looking to move into the midfield. Um, it's something um, that I wanted to focus on last year as well. Um, so hopefully keep building that and um, maybe put on a few more kilos as well um, will help me to move into the midfield, yeah. When do you think that move comes? When, when would you like it to come? When do you think it comes? Whenever Ken wants me to go in there. Um, I'm happy whenever I like playing down forward um, at the moment, so I'm happy playing down there. And uh, whenever he needs me to go into the midfield, I'm happy to go in there. So um, I'll keep pushing my case and um, try and get my endurance and body size up a little bit um, to help that out. But um, yeah, at the moment I'm enjoying my time down forward and um, hopefully midfield we'll time in the future. Has the game given you any indication on when this might happen? Oh, not really. Uh, it's more of a, yeah, just to keep improving and um, when he thinks the time's right, then um, he'll start pushing me in there a little bit more. Who would keep the goals though, Who would keep the goals? We've got a few good targets down there. Um, Rob Gray's pretty handy, I think. <laughs> Speak to him, how much would you like that split to be in, in an ideal world in your, in your footy career? Um, I think coming up as a junior, I played a fair bit, um, sort of 50-50 forward um, in the midfield, but um, even last year, not last year, sorry, um, two years ago now, playing for North Adelaide, um, I played a bit down back, so I don't mind getting chucked around a little bit, but um, yeah, usually a 50-50 split um, between forward and midfield is, um, is pretty good and has help, helped my football. Speaking of the forward line and goal kicking, were you surprised that Sammy Gray didn't get another contract or, you know, moved on from the club? Yeah, he was a really valued member of our team and um, I guess the, the club's aspiring to win a premiership and um, at Port Adelaide that's that's all we're, all we're trying to do. So um, there's a lot of young boys coming through, obviously, pushing their cases and um, unfortunately Sammy didn't get a contract but um, all the boys are wishing him well at, um, where, he, where he ends up in the future. Speaking of looking to win that premiership do you, and you know break a finals draft, do you feel like there's some added pressure going into year 150, such a big year for the club? Yeah, there's always pressure when you're playing for Port Adelaide. Um, it's a pretty historic club with the amount of premiership we've won in the past. So, um, yeah, there'll be a little bit of added pressure pressure from the outside um, with it being the 150th year. But um, internally, we're always looking to make finals and go as far into finals as we can. So, um, yeah, that's all we'll be looking to do again this year. Obviously a great first season for you this year, um, but not really so for the team. How quickly after um, the season did you sort of switch uh, looking towards next year? Did you give yourself a couple of weeks off to think about it? Or? Yeah, um, we always give ourselves a couple of weeks off just to get away from the club and, and to do our own thing and spend time with our family. And um, yeah, now that we're back into it, we start looking towards next year and um, the young boys are back now. So I'm sure most of the meetings will be looking towards um, what we can do different that we didn't do last year to make finals. And um, we've had a few personnel changes as well, which um, I think will help. And hopefully, yeah, next year we can make finals. You've got a, you've in the midfield, Connors, you talk about you, you know, hopefully move in there at some point. You've yep. got a lot of big bodies with you, know, Ollie Wine and Tom Rockcliffe and Sam Powell-Pepper. What do you think you can add to that sort of midfield mix to make it a bit different? 
Yeah, well, obviously I'm a, I'm a little bit um, different body shape to most of them boys. They've probably got 15 or 20 kilos on me. So, um, yeah, I think what I bring differently is probably uh, a bit of leg speed and, uh, and run and carry with the ball. Um, most of those boys are really good at their contested football and, um, yeah, hopefully I can bring a bit of outside speed and, and ball use to the midfield, yeah. Is that something you thought Port could sort of do with? This year, probably outside, we, we all probably thought as in the supporters in the media that you know really good, like say contested team, but like on the outside, probably needs a bit more sort of injection of pace. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think Carl Amon has, has did a pretty good job when he went in there a few times, and and even Boki is pretty good on the outside as well most of the time as well. So uh, we had a, a pretty good mix last year. Can probably change it up a little bit this year and see where that takes us. But um, I think last year. Um, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, we can probably mix it up and see what happens. And with that forward mix, I'm talking about Sam Gray, obviously having moved to Sydney. Um, who do you think can, can step up and fill those roles or fill that role? Yeah, we've got a few young boys, like I said before, uh, with me and Zach Butters, um, who can hopefully keep playing some regular football. Um, some boys in the Maggies, um, Boyd Woodcock, those sort of players. Some other younger boys coming, coming through um, that can hopefully fill the role of Sammy Gray. And um, yeah, I think. Um, we had a pretty young team last year, but uh, we've also got some young boys still coming through with the Magpies. Well, you run us through how you spent your time off. You said you did a bit of holidaying. Um, and was your holiday anything like Bokey's you know, <laughs> time at the Red Bull Centre? <laughs> uh, not quite. We did a bit of training. Uh, I went away to Europe um, for a few weeks, so I did a bit of training over there. Probably not to the extent that Bokey puts himself through, but um, yeah, I enjoyed some time off in Europe for a few weeks. And just a bit of a different topic. Prison bars, it's always a point of difference for a lot of people. Do you, would you like to see Port with them every week going into this season, especially given it's, like we said, the 150th? Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool Guernsey. We wear it at training every now and then. Um, I'm pretty happy that we're, um, we're able to wear it um, once this year. Um, I'm not too fussed whether we wear it um, every game or, or just a few games, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy that at least we're allowed to wear it at least once this year. Well, we're starting a little bit earlier. Obviously, the drafts in about um, three weeks, so um, we're getting three weeks of training in that we didn't last year. Um, in terms of overall, we haven't got um, a massive outline of what we're doing yet, but um, I think it'll be pretty similar to last year. And um, with last year was pretty tough, so um, yeah, pretty similar, I think. Have you been told if there's off camp on the cards like there was last year? Um, I would assume so. I think um, it's what we're planning on doing. I'm not 100% sure if that's locked in or not, but, yeah, there'll probably be a camp. Just one on board, you mentioned him a moment ago. You <coughs> on a flag with him in North Adelaide. Yep. How do you see his uh, AFL future? Are you, are you pretty confident he can come in and kick some goals in the Powers Best 22? Yeah, hopefully. Um, it, the last part of his season was pretty strong last year. Um, he was really good in the Magpies, um, yeah, the back end of the season. So um, he's been training well um, for his whole first year and um, really pushing a case for the first 22. So, um, yeah, hopefully hopefully this season he can definitely push and maybe get a game. Did you exceed your own expectations from a personal level last year? Kind of, I mean, if someone had said to you when you got drafted that you'd be leading goal kicker, finish fourth in, in the best of periods, what, what would have you said to that? Um, yeah, I would have... Um, probably told him they're pretty stupid. Um, I do have internal expectations. Obviously, everyone has internal expectations, but um, I try not to pin them down too much. Um, at the start of the season, was just to get a game, and after that, was just to see where it took me and keep working hard. And um, yeah, it ended up working out pretty well. So um, yeah, I would have been pretty surprised, but um, yeah, it was good. Good year. <laughs> Not at the moment. I might have to go to Xavier throughout pre-season and see what he's got for me.